here in Ashburn, Virginia at the Flags of Valor workshop. Brian, thank you for having us. Oh, thanks for coming. We appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about Flags of Valor. So Flags of Valor is a, a veteran-owned, operated combat veteran company and that gets to make beautiful American wall art. And uh, we get to do that with combat veterans and provide them a therapeutic transition from their service. Um, we get to do that by, you know, we believe Made in America still matters. So we utilize all American suppliers and materials that go into our products. And, and lastly, but not least importantly, we get to, you know, give back to charities and, and multiple organizations. We're happy to be here and understand you're gonna give me a tour. Absolutely. All right, let's check it out. All right. Brian, tell us a little bit about how this company got started. So I used to be in the Army. I was an infantry paratrooper in the 82nd. I spent three years doing that, jumping out of planes, and, and got out, went to college, and 9-11 happened, and I was upset like most Americans and decided I wanted to go back in and uh, joined the Air Force. I became a, an aviator in uh, Air Force Special Operations. Um, I deployed a bunch of times. I think it was on my eighth deployment I got injured. Eight deployments. That's a lot of deployments. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of guys that do a lot more, but uh, I'd, I think I'd done um, eight or nine, and I'd gotten injured, and was, mm -hmm. as I was going through rehab, you know, I didn't wear my flag anymore, my uniform, because mm -hmm. um, I was just wearing normal, you know, attire for rehab, and uh, found a beautiful American flag that, online uh, for, for my wall, my house, and um, unfortunately, it wasn't made in America. Where was it made? Uh, it was, well, it was made in China, so okay. again, that upset me, um, and so the next day, I, I started woodworking in my garage, and found that very therapeutic, and then I started donating some of my flags that I made to, you know, service members' families after they had passed, and Philanthropically, it felt great. It was that feeling I tell everyone you can't buy, um, and then and then people wanted to, you know were driving by asking if there was a demand. So right. I thought, well, why not launch a company? And and here we are today. We're you know we're in a six thousand square foot workshop, and this is this is our wood side uh, where we do all our cutting and mm -hmm. everything's done by hand. We're we're really old school, no automation. Um, all of our woods brought in, and it's all uh, cut and routed and sanded. We use all American you know made tools and equipment. Um, and so everything's done over here for the wood side, and then we have the wet side over here, which is uh, where we do all of our painting and polyurethane and our ceiling It looks ceiling like there's here. some painting going on right now. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go check this out. So this is our, our wet side, we call it. This is where we do all of our, our painting, um, staining, as the guys are doing right now. Uh, distressing, all of our flags go through a, an eight-step antiquing process. We love wood, we want it to look like wood, that's why we use wood. Um, we love the patina of wood, so it goes through the whole process over here, um, and then at the very end they're all you know, sealed so you can hang them inside or outside. And all the guys that are working on these flags, they're veterans, right? They are, they're not just veterans, uh, but they're also combat veterans, and, and I, I do that because, well, I am one, I know it motivates them and drives them, and, and most veterans when they get out, they miss that brotherhood and camaraderie, so we get to provide that you know, therapeutic work environment as they get out and transition out. When you see these guys working, they're joking around, but they're working hard. I mean, it's almost like a small unit in itself right here. It is. I mean, we, we, we start as a team each day. We end as a team. We, we create something from you know, a pile of raw materials, uh, just wood at the you know, start of the day, and then we get to create you know, beautiful uh, art by the end of it. And it's American made. It's all American made. That's right. All right, so what's the next step? So the next step, uh, we'll go out here, and um, then we'll, this is where all of our products, we, we uh, let them cure. So all of our products go through a, you know, a long curing process. It takes about 48 hours for them to properly cure and seal. Um, and then we'll go on to the next step, which is our packaging section. So after the wet side, all of our flags are cured and racked for 48 hours. And then now we come over to the packaging side. Um, like I said, we do everything by hand. We want everyone that receives any of our products from our company to feel, uh, you know, handcrafted. They're all uh, craft paper, like a gift. Um, and then they each come with a, a card of why the flag was named, why we named it that, and, and, and a personal uh, note signed by one of our craftsmen. And then all of our artwork on the back is signed by our craftsmen. That's, that's great. Um, so where are these flags going? All over. I mean, all over the United States, um, internationally. Just wherever our customer demand mm -hmm. is. And it's more than American flags, right? Absolutely, yeah. We make uh, you know, law enforcement, police, fire flags. Uh, we make state flags. And then finally, you know, we do all the service branch flags or anything related to the different services. And there's, uh, there's actually one more flag I want to show you. Okay. It's right in here. All right. So this is the uh, first flag I ever made. Wow. Um, 
my brother had brought me down a pallet and just I ripped it apart and and started painting that day. And this just, is an old pallet right here. It's an old pallet. It's about 30 years old, and that's wow. the first flag I ever made. And then um, this is the second flag I ever made. My floors got redone down in Florida, so I used all the old wood that I had mm -hmm. from the flooring and just flipped it over and started working on it just to perfect my craft. Wow. So that's the second one. Wow, from humble beginnings and now you got all this. That's right. So what's next for you? Just continue our mission of what we do as a company, you know, make, making stuff in America and, and, and uh, hiring veterans and, and promoting patriotism. Wow, well thank you so much for the tour. It was uh, excellent. Thanks for coming, I appreciate it.